Like, what? It's not on the regular that I find a product that gives me a really good wash day to the point where after washing, while I'm sitting here, my hair still feels so soft. It's holiday set season. Today we are trying the Joy Cole Moisture Recovery line. This kit comes with the Moisture Recovery Moisturizing Shampoo and the Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm. Shout out to my girl, Mani. Her and her mom have been using Joy Cole for years. She says she truly does recommend it. And I got this at JCPenney. It goes for $40, but I got it on sale for $31. You can also find, I don't know if they have the kits there, but you can find Joyco, period, at Ulta. So super convenient. But from what I've seen, products do go for around $30. So pretty pricey, but as we've learned with Innersense, sometimes it's very much worth it. You gotta pay for the quality and the branding sometimes. It just is what it is. We're gonna jump into what these products are supposed to do, and then I will go ahead and try it and give you my first impression review, but I'm super excited. Moisture recovery sounds too good, and I heard that this is the right line to try if you have thick, coily, curly hair. I do consider my hair to be 3C, 4A. It can get real thick and brittle and dry and like just look very different than when it is moisturized and actually the tangled and all that good stuff. So, let's open the box and learn what this is supposed to do. Hey baby loves, welcome back to the Fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Keyshawn Dupuy, and if you're not, <laughs> you're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell down below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin and product reviews, tips, tricks, and advice every Sunday. Joy Co, y'all just so cute. Look at the little metallic glitter. How adorable. Okay, deep moisture for thick, coarse hair. Feeling extra thirsty? Replenish moisture to thick, coarse hair for 24 hours with Joyco's Thirst Quenching Moisture Recovery Duo. First, we have the moisturizing shampoo. Gently cleanses hair without stripping vital moisture and helps replenish lost moisture. So, I guess it helps with moisture retention and replenishing moisture while also cleansing without stripping the hair. Love that, that sounds really good. Then we're using a treatment balm. It doesn't say conditioner, but I'm, gonna cons I'm guessing that's what it is if they're putting in a duo. It says the treatment balm replenishes lost moisture and deeply hydrates thick coarse hair. Hair is three times less prone to breakage, wow, and it reduces frizz. It's for the thick coarse hair. I'm expecting some good results. By the way, if you have eczema on your, on your lips or get really dry chapped lips, this is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm Fire. Okay, large product, so worth the money. It feels high quality, very strong plastic. I like what I'm feeling. The branding is very pretty with the metallic blue and silver. Gorgeous. Okay, the back says exactly what the box said, so I don't have to read that. What I do want to find for the treatment balm is the directions to make sure we use it correctly. My one note would be Joyco. It's a little hard to read white on the silver part. It says apply to clean damp hair leave in for three to five minutes. Rinse. That's it. I recently seen a stylist on TikTok talk about how we need to be better about following instructions on the products. If it says three to five minutes, only keep it in your hair for three to five minutes. Because sometimes that's why you feel like the product doesn't work. Because you overused it, you kept it in longer than it was supposed to. This is called moisture recovery. So I want to see my hair feel good and look shiny and moisturized. I want to see what this gives because I do love my current wash routine. My current routine is using Olaplex. I really like it. I do have mixed feelings about long-term use of Olaplex, but when you freshly go to the salon and want to follow up with some salon grade stuff, I actually really love using Olaplex. Expensive, but worth the monies. Also, Waze dandruff shampoo goes hard. So if you're dealing with dandruff, Try it. Main tip my stylist gave me recently was to clarify my hair every wash day and that has, in my opinion, been helping a lot. I feel like my hair is softer, it stays moisturized longer, and I'm really happy with that. This though is this, this juiciness that you're seeing, the shine and softness and detangledness of my hair is all due to the beautiful African Pride Pre Shampoo. The way it leaves your hair so soft because it provides a crazy amount of slip. Like it's wash day, but instead this looks like it's about to be a wash and go. So good. Comment down below right now if you've used Joy Co and what your favorite line is, put me on please. Let's go ahead and wash our hair and I'll come back and tell you guys my final thoughts. We are freshly washed. We are freshly washed. This is what is given.
But really quick, if you made this far, if you like and subscribe, because you're already vibing with your girl. On this channel, we care about growing our hair or having glowing skin all at an affordable price. So if that's something that you are interested in, go ahead and comment down below right now. Some mangoes and watermelon emojis are the word. So I know that you made it this far and I want to show you so much love and appreciation. Also, check out the description box below if you would like to see some related videos or use my affiliate links to try the products that we review. Like, subscribe, and keep watching. Baby. Wow. Shout outs to Mani. This is the first time used ever touching a Joyco product. To my knowledge, maybe one of my stylists have used them, but to my knowledge, it's the first time Joyco, jo Joyco has ever touched my head. And I'm sad that it's the first time. This was so good. Let's start with the shampoo. This does not claim to do this, but I really like to pay attention to it. It didn't help detangle my hair, but it did lather my hair up so much. Like a little goes a very long way with this. I love the color of this shampoo. It's like a metallic e bluish white situation. Let me see if I can show y'all. I literally put it in my hand and I was like, whoa, because I'm a damn kid. I don't know if you can see the color, y'all. Look at this pearly, it looks pearly white, but not like in person. It has like this like bluish tint to it, but like in a calm way, not anything that made me scared to put it in my hair. Either way, really enjoy that. And cleansing wise, it definitely cleanses. It almost was, ooh, right close to me not liking it in terms of that, that's almost too clean, squeaky clean feeling, but it, ha it held its balance. It genuinely was able to clean the hair without stripping the hair. That squeaky clean to me is when it strips. I didn't get that. My hair felt really nice. Also, the way this thing smells is so pleasant. It's like florally, honestly, it kind of smells like a salon, like you're doing something bougie in your shower. I like this. I liked it more than I thought. The star of the show, all the way, is this baby right here. This treatment balm shocked me. Make sure you saturate it in some water. Squeeze it out just a bit because you don't want the product slipping out your hair, but you want to make sure your hair is like wet. And apply this. I did apply a lot. This is how much I was applying. Instantly my curls was eating this up. I could tell that there was minimal frizz happening because it was just literally just laying on down. My hair was detangling. I was able to finger detangle. My, my hands were just slipping through and still do. My hair is so so soft after this Joyco Moisture Recovery Duo right here. And I made sure to leave it in for exactly five minutes each side. I had to do what it has because I have too much hair and I didn't want to just poof it over, right? It softens the hair, it detangles the hair, and it keeps it that way. Five minutes is all you need. Um, make sure you rinse it out well because although, well, the only thing I was shocked by was the texture of the balm. When I hear balm, I guess I was thinking something more thick and petroleum based, which is good that it was not this because then that would be so heavy on the hair and hard to get out. But I just, I don't know, that's why I think of when a hair balm. This almost had the deeply nourishing qualities of what a balm is, but also felt like a cream. It was thick, but not too thick. And it was just heavy enough to really kind of weigh down my hair, get the curls to pop out and for it to detangle. Genuinely, I can see that this is a good line for thick, coarse hair because I feel like I have both. Just make sure you rinse both of these out really well, especially the treatment balm. I took my time really working it out of my hair um, just to make sure you're not leaving any product over in there. But yeah, that that's, this is a really quick review. Keep it as simple, try this. If you have thick hair, give this a go. It is, it smells amazing and it feels amazing in the hair. Like, what? Come on now. Having thick hair like this, trying a bunch of products is not common. It's not on the regular that I find a product that gives me a really good wash day to the point where after washing, while I'm sitting here, my hair still feels so soft and easy to manage. We just absolutely love it. And like, look at how big my hair is. This baby right here is well cleansed. She's big, she's fluffy, she's flowy. And I now feel like it's a great base for my wash and go. So give this a go, give it a try. 
Let me know if you have any questions about either of these products. I am more than happy to answer them. But also, if you have any product suggestions, video requests, comment them down below because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Ciao!